This is why I think nothing but that sports. Oh, my microphone on. It's on. It's good. This is why I think nothing but that sports. So I got a question for Jimmy. Um, we look back at this season and carrying in Duquesne to the the final four, the United States tournament. Like, how, how do you feel about your overall experience in basketball up until this point, and what do you look to do to help this team get the victory? Um, I just. I feel good about the experience, you know, being being able to come back and play in the A10. It's definitely been a blessing, especially with these group of guys. So I'm looking, I'm looking forward to just finishing out strong and having my teammates trust in me, and I trust in my teammates, and we're just going to finish it out. So that's the only thing I got for you. This is Ralph Fink with nothing but that sports talk. Like, like, what are your overall impressions about the way this team come together and, and have a, another shot at when reaching the United 10 championship? Well, I think, you know, uh, our guys show tremendous resiliency and tremendous uh, togetherness in order to withstand what kind of happened to us early in the year. You know, um, I kept telling them after the start that, you know, we weren't really that bad. We were, we were very close. You know, we played three of those games without Day-Day, uh, which in retrospect probably helped us become what we became. And I think those losses early in the year helped us, you know, learn how to win and what we had to do to win. Uh, but I'm proud of the fact that they stuck together. It says a lot about them. Uh, a lot of teams that start 0-5 never recover. Um, but we knew we were competitive. Like we, you know, we, we played, uh, at the time we played at UMass and nobody thought they were good, but they ended up, you know, getting a, getting a bye. And then we, then we immediately uh, uh, had to go to Loyola and nobody thought they were good, but they ended up where they ended up and then we, we were fortunate enough to play Dayton at home. So, uh, you know, they're a top 25 team. And, and then we, uh, we had another good team at home, Richmond, who nobody thought was any good. And they ended up, you know, winning the league. And then we lose a, buzz, a buzzer beater at St. Joe's. So we, we were competitive in all those games. Uh, but, like, it took, a lot to, it took a lot of resiliency by these guys. And I think, you know, one thing they said kind of uh, – resonates with me is a lot of people gave them up for dead, you know, just kind of quit on them and said, hey, you know, it's typical Duquesne, you know, stuff. And, you know, so all we had was each other and our belief in one another. And you find out a lot when you go through tough times as to, you know, what people really are and who they are. And you find out that, you know, you have to just rally around yourself. And so I think that's what they did. And I think they have a chip on their shoulder. They don't really care whether they're the favorite or the underdog. They're smart enough to know that this league is, this league is a fine line. So you know we, you know we 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 darn near lost on senior night to George Washington, who was last in the league. And to me, they may be last in the league, but they got pretty good players and a pretty good coach. So, um, so I think you know we. I think our losses kind of put a hard outer shell on our guys, a callousness that you know, doesn't allow us to blister up. And I think that's really helped us. When you look, like, looking forward to the second round, like, what, what are your overall impressions about the strength and toughness that St. Bonaventure showed in the double overtime victory against Loyola Chicago? Um, we got a bunch of pretty guys. Uh, and I feel like five minutes of basketball with the three uh, toughness. And that games like this run this time, uh, we're not going to win if you don't have toughness and grit. And I feel like that's what the guy showed. Okay. Johnny Walker, the BB. Um, yeah, I have another question for me. Um, when Daryl Banks came into the on the venture college program, like, what can you tell me about the type of teammate he is, not just for you, but for the rest of the, the St. Bonaventure's roster throughout the past few seasons? Right. Uh, uh, Daryl Banks. Big plays on the stretch, and even the last game before, uh, just having him come off the bench and giving us that big spark, uh, we need that, you know. And he's been here before, you know. He's been in times like this, and just his leadership, uh, and we really need that going going forward. But uh, he's a great player, and, and you know, like I said before, he's been in these moments, so uh, we we were definitely grateful, and he's gonna keep, continue to keep making plays and you know be big for us on the stretch. So. I'm just happy that you know having, having, having him as a teammate, uh, having him on my side throughout the whole year, talking to me, being on my side, and the whole team was just grateful to have him.